And this one should blow the roof off the house. Oh, oh, oh. Del Rio took all of that. Titus O'Neil making a move. Oh, folded in half. Titus O'Neil is going up. Uh-oh. Great move off the top rope. I just can't get over what we saw. That was so great. Flex like that takes a lot of power and delivers a lot of impact. He's got him up. Oh, look at that scoop slam. He's heading back up. Watch out. Wow, what power. Titus O'Neil has dominated as of late, and from the way it looks, this might not stop. Here we go with Titus O'Neil. Did you see that, Cole? Talk about getting your spine adjusted. Jeez. Heads up. He's not here. Yeah, that was a costly misstep. And there's the reversal from Alberto Del Rio. You know, Titus O'Neil has been a monster since day one. First on the gridiron at the University of Florida, and then as a member of the NFL's Jacksonville Jaguars. In 2012, Titus debuted in WWE and became one half of the primetime player. Things got heated when Titus attacked his partner, Darren Young, to make his own fortune. Man, what a way to start 2014. This could be big. Oh, man. What should Alberto Del Rio try to do differently at this stage to remain viable? When you know the submissions that this guy does, there's always the threat of locking in a devastating hook. That's it. He's done. You know, everything changed for Darren Young and Titus O'Neil after they lost to Ryback. I mean, Titus, and that should do it. Hey, one more time, just in case you missed it. Into the cover, hooks the leg. Two, three. And Titus O'Neil, the dead is man, looking winner. to bury another victim here tonight. Oh, man, I never tire of seeing The Undertaker lay his poor opposition to rest. He gets out of trouble there. Oh, and he lands that one right to the head. King, some of our fans may not recall this, but you've looked the Lord of Darkness in the face and actually battled him in a casket match. So let us know your opinions here on the Phenom. Well, to quote good old JR, the way he feels about his opponent tonight, I would expect this match to turn bowling shoe ugly. Look at that, Cole! Boy, he was able to reverse it. Get out of that. The Undertaker making a move. Did you see that, Cole? Talk about getting your spine adjusted. Jeez. Oh, the elbow connects. Did it. You know, trying to find an effective approach to use against The Undertaker is a bit like spitting into the wind. I mean, he is that difficult. But if I had to pick a strategy, I guess I'd say that like all big men, it's best to keep him off his feet. How can you do that? Well, you go for his legs and work him when he's down. These two superstars are in a standoff here. Wait a minute. He needs to stay focused here. He shouldn't turn his back to his opponent during a match. Oh! Oh, that happens! That costly distraction has quickly changed the entire momentum of this match. He'll have to find a way to get back into this and fast. Ouch! That definitely leaves a mark. 
Oh, and a terrific reversal by Wade Barrett. And here's The Undertaker. Well, King, the strategy against the dead man you suggested is certainly one an opponent should consider. Try and keep the almost seven-footer off his feet. I think other than that, the suggestion would be to just close your eyes and pray. Yeah, you're right, Michael. That's about the only thing you can do when you step into the ring against The Undertaker. But I guess the one other thing I'd say is that, well, it's best to keep him off the ropes. Because the last thing you want him to do is go old school on you. Barrett needs to move here. He's being hit hard and often. Whoa! He's measuring. What a move! No! Undertaker! Cover. Two. Three. I don't believe it. The match is over.